Guys, if you are looking to book your US visa appointment now, especially from India, now the US visa portal has changed altogether. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what the exact portal looks like, how to maneuver through it, and what you have to do. Remember that if you actually went and try to access the old portal now at this point, this address will show that it is blocked at this point. That means the old US visa slot booking site is completely down. However, I'll give you the correct address as well in this video and this would be the correct one if you go on to this url usvisascheduling.com slash n slash us uh, slash n dash us you'll actually reach the original site for the us visa booking now all right this would be the face of the website now even if you were previously signed up on the previous website you still have to create an account over here hence what we are going to do is we're going to start with sign up now Right, I'm going to be showing you the steps to sign up and then I'll show you how you can recover your previous slot also on this account just in case you already had a slot. Otherwise, you will at least know the navigation on the website. Right, so we'll start with the uh, username over here. I'll say Vangrad Client 1. All right, I'll enter a password here. I'll enter again a password over here and then I'll enter an email ID. Let's say that this can be admin at the redvimegrad.com. It's going to send a verification code. I'm going to enter the verification code. I'm just going to wait for the verification code right over here to be sent on my email. And I have the verification code for you right over here. I'm just going to paste it real quick and I'm going to say verify code. When I do that, it says email address has been verified. Now you can continue and you can see that I can change the email. I don't need to verify it anymore. I'll write down the name and i'll write down something like this that it's the client itself three security questions now you have to select of course the question write down the answer you can write down anything you want for now for the educational purposes of course i am just writing down anything i can think of and i'll create the account itself as you can see the account is now created and it's signing me into the account oh actually it was not signing me in i still have to enter my username right so i'll say Vangrad client one, I'll enter the password and I'll enter the capture. And that seems like a queue, I think. Once you click on sign in, you will be logged in. And at this point, you will have to enter the answer to the question. Once you've entered the answers, you click on continue and it will take you to the website itself. All right, as you can see, I'm actually being logged in right now. They show me the privacy policy, you should read all of this in detail to understand how your data will be used and then you should click on continue after taking the checkbox all right finally you will be inside the portal itself where you can see that you have a little bit of a dashboard over here where you can actually mention your email again you can mention your preferred language over here you can now select the one that shows up again there could be multiple languages depending on where you're from all right you select the language and then you click on submit all right once you've done that you come across the dashboard itself where you can actually start an application create group requests feedback or messages now you start the application that's essentially where you have to go and this is going to be a pretty long form right from here you start and you start mentioning your details you mention your phone number right and uh, of course let's see if it copy paste works over here you have to mention your mailing street city state and uh, zip code right then your passport number passport issuance date again could be anything right passport place of issue basically you have to enter simple questions over your answer to simple questions right nothing very complicated over here right and uh, of course uh, place of issue actually cannot be this let me just uh, try to paste this here and place of issue can be Delhi India right you have to enter your birth date let me do that here and you have to enter your nationality all right once that is done you submit this form you move on to the next page where you will actually be going ahead and choosing the visa type and this really changes for everyone from here on out i'm going to be selecting non-immigrant i'm going to be selecting the consulate as new delhi and i'm going to be selecting the post as uh students all right from here you have to choose which exact visa type you're going for for the purpose of this video just for reference i'm going to be choosing f1 all right and then i'm going to be clicking next and then it'll take me to a page where i have to fill out really the f1 details itself right so 
I believe this should be again, you know, specific to every case. So I would not go deeper into it than this. But let's say once you fill out this page as well, I'll show you what your exact page will look like, especially if you already had an appointment on the previous US visa portal. So if you actually manage to create your account, it will basically merge it with the previous account out there and you will be able to see your appointment confirmation right over here. Now, there's a lot of bugs on this portal. Sometimes what happens is you can't see the appointment confirmation. Sometimes what happens is if you click on reschedule appointment, it doesn't work. It just refreshes the page. Nothing happens and no matter how many times you do it, you're just stuck there. This portal is still in building. I would say it's still a beta version of the portal. It's not finalized. They're still in the operations of building it, but this is generally how it looks. Now, let me also show you how you can schedule appointments on this one. Just briefly, you'll click on reschedule appointment or in your case, of course, if you're clicking it for the first time, it would be schedule an appointment, right? So let's go on to reschedule appointment over here. Once you do that, you'll actually be able to see your name right over here. You'll be able to see the posts available within your country. Let's say New Delhi is the post and you see directly over here that no slot is available. So the calendar does not even open up. Let's choose Mumbai, for instance, and it will again show you if any slot is available. This is 31st August, which it is available for. If we want, we can go ahead, we can select the time. And once we select the time, this is again, you know, just your OFC appointment. From here, you have to submit and then you go on to the next one, which is going to be the, well, you can see the error already occurred. But once you are able to actually select this, you will actually go on to the next one, which is the consular slot booking appointment, right? But uh, that's not opening up for some reason right now. Let me try Kolkata one last time for you guys. But uh, yeah, if it doesn't open, it doesn't open right now. I did this same processing last night when I was preparing for this video, it was working. Right now, it does not seem to be working. But again, you can see that these kinds of issues pop up. Now, what we're doing is we're doing a lot of research. Given that we've already done 15,000 plus cases and this portal is so unstable, we still have access to a couple hundred accounts that we are working on we're migrating the profiles and in the process, whatever knowledge we have, I'll be trying to share all of that with you guys. All you have to do is make sure you subscribe to the channel over here and follow us on Instagram. If you face issues in your visa process and you're not able to make it for some reason, do one thing. Go ahead to whyimgrad.com. All you have to do is either connect with me on my WhatsApp number mentioned in the video description below, or you can take a look at the visa application help service where we'll guarantee that your visa will not only be you booked but you will also get the appointment you will also have the visa stamped on your passport that will be a guarantee from our end all right to know more reach out to me apart from that i hope this video was helpful this is the new portal guys make sure that you know more about it by actually practicing your application on itself make sure that you know more about it by actually trying to create your account on the actual official portal now which is this one and i wish you all the very best Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that this helps. Goodbye and take care.